So a funny thing happened. The same day as the thrift, this happened. It was a beautiful thing. Not every day I get to see this. We see lots of rain in Oregon, but not, not too often do I see this. So the same day as this haul, and uh, you'll understand maybe after the end of this haul video uh, why or the significance of it. What's going on everybody? Joe Moonlight Mola here. I am back, refreshed and ready to do some more videos for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys are still spend a little of your time seeing what I do and uh, hopefully uh, I can entertain you along the way. But uh, yeah, so I went to the thrift store the other day, a uh, new thrift store for me, um, and I uh, came across some really good stuff. Um, I, I, I'm sure like everybody else in the world, you guys are struggling with uh, raising prices at thrift stores. Um, I am no different. Um, I am really struggling uh, with the stores that shall not be named and the, we'll say the S armies. <laughs> um, they're uh, all getting pretty uh, high priced. You can still find not so much diamonds in the roughs, but some bread and butters that they miss. Um, occasionally you'll come across the home run, but I hit a lot of singles in in uh, Goodwills and uh, or Salvation Armies lately. So, um, And in Oregon, uh, our weather is not the greatest. It's raining right now and uh, it's cold. <laughs> So, uh, you know, summertime is when I really hit it hard on garage sales and estate sales. Um, I do still hit estate sales, obviously. Unfortunately, people die every day, but, you know, that's the sad part about it. But, uh, um, yeah, so we still hit estate sales. But, um, yeah, so we got a good uh, thrift store run for you here, and uh, I'll share it here. We went to a, to a local new one. It's not, I'm not going to call it the honey hole, but... I've been to them before, but never one that had this much clothes in it. Um, it was a Habitat for Humanity store. And uh, let me cover up the important stuff here. But I spent 46 and change if that's going to ever. Well, you're going to have to trust me. It's 46.88 I spent overall. I got a total of 14 items. So it ends up being an average of $3.35 each. So really good, uh, good per piece price average, um, especially when you see some of the items that I got. So turn the camera around and show you what I got. All right, so we got the 14 items here all stacked up nicely. And uh, what I'll end up doing here is I'll try to show them off one by one for you. Obviously, you can, we'll go over the top one here because that's the easiest. But um, definitely it picked up a pair of Brooks. Um, these are Aerials 16s right there and uh aerials are um you know it's a good bread and butter shoe it still had a lot of life it's a supportive shoe um but it was in really good shape nice colorway so uh you know a little bit of wear to the bottom but nothing horrible uh, that we can't clean up a little bit so again three dollar and 35 cent average so a pair of shoes for three dollars and thirty-five cents is a good, good deal in my book. All right. So first up, after the shoes, we have this Mountain Hardware short sleeve dress shirt. Just a casual outdoorsy, full button-up shirt. Uh, Mountain Hardware. I have pretty good, pretty good luck selling them. Um, so I uh, pick them up if they're on the cheap. Remember, we are working with a three dollar and thirty-five cent per piece average so uh this is just your basic nike uh nike golf the tour performance series i seem to have better luck selling um so but this is just a basic striped red shirt sold it jeez i've had this probably a number of times in different sizes over the years and uh, always had good luck again these are bread and butter ones first this one was an adidas polo shirt Golf, polo, performance, poly, all that good stuff. Golf one as well. Even if it wasn't golf and it's this type, I'm probably calling putting tennis and golf in this one because you could probably get away with either one. But uh, Addy Zero, um, I hadn't come across an Addy Zero polo before, but I liked the design. It was bright. It popped. 
and uh, would definitely separate itself from the pack of all the polo shirts out there. And this is first for me. This is used, granted, but um, I came across a uh, rock project with Under Armour tank top. It's got a little wear to the collar. We'll notate it, but uh, size extra large. And then right next to it is a t-shirt, short sleeve t-shirt. So what I'm going to do in the same size, extra large. So what we'll do is uh, we'll put them together. Um, we'll lot them up together, sell them together, two for one deal, maybe get a little higher price point and uh, waste less time listing two individual items. Next up, I came across a nice track jacket. Um, really cool kind of, I don't know what you call it, mesh, mesh and red, not, uh, red material on the sleeves and uh, but it is a collab or co-branded with uh, Puma and Ferrari. So it's official. Let's zoom in on that for you. Official supplier of the, uh, I'm going to murder that name, Scudera. Scudera, Scudera, I can't even say it. <laughs> you guys pronounce it. But uh, it's got the Ferrari logo on the chest. Puma on the sleeve. And underneath the back neck, it's got the name again that I will never try to say again. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, I, I, you know, same. I'm working with a $3.35 per piece average, so it's not, not, a, not a bad pickup. Um, I'll, you know, if I'm lucky, I'll get 30 bucks for it. Uh, another bread and butter. Again, Nike Golf Tour Performance. And uh, just nice little kind of color block dark and lighter grays of it short sleeve all right so now up uh, somebody uh, dumped their collection because uh, it probably upset Raiders fan for them going to Vegas or something but uh, this is a LA or Oakland Raiders jersey 34 if you're a fan of football you know 34 um, this is a Nike jersey sewn down letters so that you typically means it's a little higher quality Nice sewn down NFL rubber patch. NFL players on field, size 52. Um, they use a little different sizing system. 34 on the sleeves. And uh, you'll see we got the tags down here with the size, NFL players, all that good stuff. Nike. But it is uh, Jackson, Bo Jackson jersey. So, uh, I got to do my research, obviously. A lot of fakes are made nowadays. I am not a jersey specialist, so I will do a little digging and make sure that this is authentic before I ever try to put it up. But, uh, yeah, so I, I, uh, I, everything points in the right direction, but you never know. People make good fakes. But, uh, yeah, so it's just number on the back, number name, also down patchwork it's all you know to me looks good quality but we will check it out we will do our our job and the same thing uh 18 if you're a raiders fan you should know this one is not nike though <laughs> this one is reebok and it's the reebok on field equipment size 52 as well so probably the same person but um, again, tag in there is coming off a little bit, but we'll note it. We'll picture it. Everything will be fine. But, uh, number 18 is Randy Moss, Hall of Famer, again. Same thing, sewn down letters. Good quality. Sleeve and numbers. Reebok logos, but of course we will do our research and make sure we're not selling fakes because that is a bad thing. Then last up, being an Oregonian and growing up a Blazers fan, I have Mr. Clyde the Glide Drexler. Uh, he is uh, number 22 or was number 22 back in the day. And uh, this one is a 
uh, Hardwoods Classics, so it's a, a, a not a repop, but it's a it's a redone jersey. I got a little cleaning to do. I just noticed on the letter on the stitching there. If you can see that, I hope the camera is picking that up. Where the stitches on the other side are more white. We'll just have to touch that up, get it as good as we can, note it, and picture it. But it is a Reebok jersey. Pardon the camera work. And then Drexler on the back, numbers. But uh, yeah, so three uh, to me nice jerseys to have for $3.35 each. Um, we're talking 10 bucks for those three jerseys total. So, I mean, that's a hell of a deal. So, I'm in the thrift store doing my thing. We're going through the jackets. And these two things are laying next to each other on the rack. Camo intrigues me. Especially when the price when the price for the jacket section was $5.99. J pants section of the store was $4.99. These were not separately priced, so when I went up there, I was a little worried because I figured, oh, this is they're going to jack the price up on me on this. And the guy said, no, our jacket price is this much, and the pants price is this much, so we'll give it to you for that. So I got extremely lucky. <laughs> and uh, but what they are is, um, I'll zoom in on the camel here. But most camels, camel from bigger names that use branded camel, like Mossy Oak and Advantage and all that. They have a name, so right there, Skyline Camel Full Flight. Now, I'm not a hunter, but to me that sounds like uh, bird bird hunting camel. Being all the grass and stuff too, I just assume. I could be wrong. Then what gets me even more excited is I realize that it's Columbia. I don't believe this is a newer tag, but... This uh, jacket extra large and pants extra large actually aren't pants. They're bib pants. So they have bib straps. Columbia as well. Same size. Same everything. But the bib straps, pockets, uh, everything on them. Full length. Fully insulated. Uh, these things will keep you really warm. Heavy duty. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I picked them up. I didn't even research them. I mean, I just, I knew they were more than, worth more than that. So I researched them later, and uh, I'll show off to the side here uh, some of the ones that are listed currently. Um, I think we came across, but I'll show it. Up. One that was brand new. Um, the whole set was over 300 bucks. Um, so I think the used ones were selling about 100 each uh, separately, and... I think around 200 as a set um, or more if I remember right but again I'll show the snapshots here off to the side um, but uh, yeah so this was my home run <laughs> I, and hopefully I, it sells fast um, you know I might sit on it actually for a little while um, being that uh, hunting seasons not necessarily coming soon but it's not that far away so you know I, I I'm a part-time seller. I can sit on certain things for longer and wait um, for that right person to buy it. Being an extra large size, uh, that really helps. Good size. So I'm hoping that uh, that's going to be the key to this one uh, selling for good money. So, uh, well. All right, so that's my haul. Um, tell me what you think below in the comments. I'm, I'm really interested in uh, you think I hit a home run with uh, some of these pickups. You know anything about the jerseys let me know in the comments too because I, like i said i'm a novice at the jersey the game and uh I'm not scared to pick up anything and learn something new so um, i'm always uh interested in finding new ways of making money and that's definitely a new one for me that i hadn't come across at a decent price like that um you know spending 20 bucks on a jersey would scare me a lot more than spending three some three dollars and change so if that makes sense but um yeah, so leave me a comment down below what you thought of the video. Uh, tell me what you want to see in other videos. Again, I'm a part-time reseller. I do this on the side to make extra money to pay off bills, uh, medical bills faster. Uh, you know, we had one come up, you know, and that's a great way to pay off uh, 
debt that you need. Uh, we go to Mexico quite often because um, my wife is Hispanic and uh, uh, yeah, so we like to enjoy Mexico uh, weeks at a time and uh, every five years or so we go on a cruise or something, you know, fun, Disneyland, something. Um, so uh, yeah, it's a great way to make some extra money without uh, hurting the wallet so much and uh, it makes you push a little harder when you know that, uh, you know, a cruise or something's coming up if you... Uh, if you really want to go on that stuff, you know, you push a little harder to get that money faster and you enjoy life. So uh, that's what it's all about. You know, I can't live live this life and uh, not enjoy it. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.